Hey everybody, uh, it's a Saturday afternoon, uh, a little warmer, a little stickier than it has been, still not too bad, um, humidity is still not what it oftentimes is this time, of, this time of the summer here in the Midwest, but it's still not too bad, um, but it's a good day I think for Saison, and I'm going to try one today from a brewery I didn't even know existed until it appeared on our shelves. Um, from Prairie Artisan Ales um, out of Oklahoma I'm gonna do their Prairie Ale they say it's a Belgian style Asian Saison Ale um, apparently they're fairly new brewery and uh, they do some uh, contract brewing because this says brewed, brewed and bottled by Krebs Brewing Company in Krebs Oklahoma um, a little bit from the website, it says a Belgian-style Saison Ale. Prairie Ale is our classic Saison. We brew this beer with Pilsner malt, wheat malt, flaked wheat, and cane sugar. A healthy dose of size hops are used to add a spicy element to the beer. Prairie Ale is fermented with a mix of ale yeast, wine yeast, and bretomyces. Notes of black, black pepper and pineapple can be found in this beer. Like I said, brewed at uh, Krebs Brewing Company. It's 8.2% um, ABV, uh, 25 IBUs. Um, so let me get this Saison in a glass and see what we have. Got a nice, whoa, little foam, lots of foam. Foamed right over. Pour a little bit. That's pretty much all foam right now. I'll let it settle down a little bit. Uh, yeah, it's a, like I said, a warm, semi sticky day. So, you know, it's a perfect day for a Saison. Something light and refreshing. I, I'm guessing this must, the way that acted, I'm guessing this must be a uh, bottle conditioned. Um, it says uh, Prairie Artisan Ales. Made by people that truly care from Oklahoma with love. PrairieAles.com So, like I said, I went to their website. It's still foaming up. Look at that. Good grief. Definitely, definitely bottle conditioned. I probably won't get uh, far enough down in the bottle to give it a swirl and pick up the yeast like I normally like to do it's a fairly big bottle eight point something percent I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna drink the whole thing and then try to drive uh, 12 miles back back to town um, but uh, looking at it yeah we got a really hazy um, straw colored beer uh, good two almost uh, three fingers of a really uh, foamy head uh, Looks like it might stick around a little bit. I can't see a lot through it, so I don't know, but I think I'm guessing there may be some chunkies floating around in there too. But it's a it's a really hazy beer. You're not seeing any any detail through that at all. Yeah, it looks like a yeah, it looks like a I can see a couple spots here. There's a ton of ton of carbonation streaming up, so let me see if I can get a nose on it. Oh, that smells nice. Um, definitely getting that bread with a little of those horse blanket type notes. Um, some herbal, uh, herbal grassy notes. Um, but they got that spicy funk, a little bit of um, like fresh leather smell. Um, a lot of citrus notes, uh, lemon jet, lemon zest, and maybe some uh, maybe some white pepper. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of uh, plenty of earthy notes, for, uh, funky notes with with the bread and uh, a little, maybe even a little bit of uh, almost like spearmint. There's a like a mint type uh, aroma to it. Um, but you're getting some of that uh, like dusty, uh, dried barnyard hay. Maybe just a little, uh, little like underripe pineapple along with the lemon and. Maybe just a hint of orange in there too. Just a, there's a lot going on here, and it's a really nice, uh, complex aroma. So, uh, 
really nice uh, really nice nose makes you really want to dig right in and that's what I'm gonna do oh yeah you get that um, that uh, crisp uh, funky uh, Brett note right away uh, you get a like a s slightly sweet almost honey like note and some cereal grain uh, Some nice spicy wet, wet uh, white pepper and uh, some clove notes, uh, apparently from from the yeast. It's got a clean, dry finish. Um, a little bit of like lemongrass in there, but a lot of the, a lot of those yeast notes. Uh, this is definitely a, a yeast forward uh, saison. Um, but yeah, that peppery spice note it kind of leaves a little bit of zing on the tongue. Really is. Uh, as it goes down, um, get some lingering um, from those saws, saws hops on the on a finish. Some of those uh, some of those grassy notes. Um. But yeah, you get the, the wheat wheat taste right in the right in the mid palate, and then then you get that uh, again that like that dusty uh, barnyard hay. Pineapple, a little bit of that um, almost lactic funk at the back of the throat. Um, uh, mild, uh, mild grapefruit seems to linger just a little bit, um, and those grassy hops stick around a little bit too. But it's still a, a nice, uh, dry, clean, clean mouthfeel. Um, some slight bitterness in the finish. Um, most of those, mostly like the grassy notes. Um, the Brett leaves a little uh, earthiness on the palate as well. It's uh, not a super clean finish, but it's still a light, uh, dry, little funky beer um, with a really uh, creamy and fizzy carbonation. Um, really nice uh, tasting Saison. Like I said, I don't know anything. I've never had anything from this brewery before. I've never seen any. Never seen any of their, their beers other than this one, but um, so far so good. Um, seems like a fairly decent saison, so let me sit. I will maybe add a little more to the glass, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been, oh, half an hour or so. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really liking this beer. Is it? I notice as it's warmed up, and it's... It's in the mid 80s today, but even though the humidity is down somewhat, so it warmed up fairly well. I noticed as as it's warmed up, some of those um, like nice wheat notes um, come out more on the uh, come out a lot more on the on the nose and on the and on the palate. Um, uh, really add a nice uh, nice uh, flair to it. Uh, overall, I think. Um, for the most part, this is darn good, uh, darn good saison. Um, I'm really impressed with this. I hope they get maybe get some more of their uh, their beers in here locally. Um, so I'd like to try them because when I did go to the website, I noticed they have like 20 or 30 different beers now. I don't know if they're all year round or anything, but I think this is probably the first. I if I read correctly, I think this is probably their first beer. But it's still at least this bottle was. Uh, was still brewed by someone else, but it's a darn good saison. I think um, for my taste, it's still a little sweet. I think uh, it might take uh, maybe get a few months on it. I, I looked all over the all over the bottle, and I couldn't see any date on it, so I don't know don't know how old it is. But something tells me it's fairly fresh, um, at least from the notes and from the the way it uh, bubbled up there that. Um, it's still fairly fresh, and I think maybe just a maybe a few months of some age on there get rid of some of the sweetness, and maybe a little bring a little more um, dryness to the to the taste and to the finish. Um, it still lingers a little bit, uh, almost too much uh, for me. But um, that being said, it's still a darn good saison, just the way it is. Um, the malt profile is pretty nice, um, but this is um, this is definitely uh, focused on the yeast, and the yeast profile is uh, 
what defines this beer. Um, a really nice um, saison from a from a fa apparently fairly new brewery, and um, I'm really looking forward to trying uh, trying some more of their beers. Uh, hopefully, the the local store uh, manager was on vacation this week, so next weekend when he gets back, I'm going to see if I can. Uh, Talk him into uh, maybe trying some more from this brewery because I think this is darn fine saison, even as it is. So I'm going to give the Prairie Ale from Prairie Artisan Ales. I'm going to give it a good solid uh, nine out of ten. It's a decent, uh, decent American take on a on a, a Belgian saison. Um, like I said, nothing really wrong with it. At least, at least for my taste, it's a bit sweet. Could be a little drier, particularly on the finish, but uh, other than that, it's a darn good saison. So, nine out of ten. So, until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.